everybody. I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for spending the time with me. Look at this amazing, amazing color combination. 67 Camaro RS SS 4 speed, right? Uh, it's so rare to see a white with a red interior car. Today's modern car, the most popular, the best selling car, believe it or not, right now is a white with a red interior. And here we are uh, so many years later, almost 60 years later, looking at this same color combination. It makes me smile when I think about, you know what, what's old is new again and super hot. So anyway, let's take a walk around. This is what I get a lot of times online is, man, that's a great looking car, Tone. I love that thing. But a lot of times we don't know why it's a great looking car. So I wanted to spend a few minutes just to maybe show you, show you a couple of things that I think make it stick out. Hopefully we'll find some way to uh, stir your soul just enough. And maybe you can find yourself uh, a wheel in this thing too. All right, the first thing I like to talk about too is this right here. What a great hood on this car. It's a cow induction hood on here. This red stripe that's here, the RS front end. Big deal, man. The RS wasn't really a, they call it a rally sport, even though that did, wasn't really a handling package, it was an appearance package, right? But this hideaway front end looks so good in here. And then uh, throw on some big uh, BFGs on uh, rally wheels wrapped up in here. We got disc brakes, we got a 12 bolt, we got all the nice stuff in a car. This is a great car. This car sounds really cool. I can't wait for you to hear uh, what it sounds like at the end. All right, so let's talk about mirror finished paint. Like what does mirror finished paint look like? It's not the fact that you can see the reflection of this, right? You can see the reflection of it, but it's about being able to read every letter in there. See how nice this is? This is an original correct coated ermine white paint car, right? Which I love to start with. And the interior is coated correct as well as far as the red goes. But you can see every letter, the detail is in there. That to me is mirror finish. Make sure that whatever video or whatever pictures you look at, you can see the detail of everything in there, not just see the letters. All right, so let's take a peek under here because you know what? Let's say you wanna to go to a car show or let's say you just drive it to work every day. You may not care to open the hood, but maybe you wanna to go to a car show or you have some friends come over, wanna see this car, because this is a great looking car. It's gonna attract some attention. When you open the hood, the detail is here and it's nice. And I wanna share with you why some of the detail is nice, but also some of the drivability things that make it even nicer. Let's talk about that. So today's modern car comes with power steering and power disc brakes and all of those things. So we don't even think to ask about that. However, back in the day, they didn't come with all those things. This car here has power steering, right? It has power disc brakes, right? In here, it's all detailed with this battery topper that's here and the decals that are in place. If you don't love the red MSD box there, even though that wasn't factory, it just makes the car run so much better. We could paint that black, uh, even potentially move it under the dash inside the car if that's what you needed. But I just like to point out that there's new wiring in here and uh, this is not just a regular RS front end, it's a working front end like it's supposed to be detailed, you feel proud when you open the hood, it just looks great and uh, I don't know, I just think that that's an important part. Regardless of whether you're gonna open the hood or not, being able to do that is nice. All right, so if you're having an RS Camaro, you need some certain things. A lot of people will fake the RS package, right? By taking shortcuts. An RS SS car came with front and rear spoilers, right? In the, for an option, however, the reverse lights are in a different spot. So you had the grill. A lot of people just put in the grill and they won't put the motors that are supposed to go in there. This has that. This has the correct tail lights where the reverse lights are down below here, like RS style. The upgraded front and rear spoilers are part of a package, but they just make the car look so much better. So when you're looking at this car and we talked about why do things look on that car look so good, these are some of the things that I'm pointing out to you. Let's look at this right here. Like maybe you don't care about the trunk being detailed, but if you went to a car show, and you wanted to open the car, look at this. You got your jacking instructions, decals, you have your safety warning here for the positive traction, right? The trunk is all detailed nicely in here. These are the little things, like is that a big deal that it has decals in there? No, but what it does say is that the restoration is done a little bit more than others, where they took the shortcut and chose not to do any of this stuff here. You have the correct SS cap because SS overrides the RS package. You don't wanna have an RS gas cap if you have an RS SS, because the SS package, again, overrides the RS package and would have an SS call out. All right, so come join me in this beautiful red interior. We're talking bucket seats, console. What's this? How you doing? Four speed shifter, all in the right spot. Also too, I'm 6'1", and like, look how much room. I can, I can almost put my legs completely out. There's a lot of room inside this car, uh, but it's also great to be able to take the kids out or another couple to dinner. Can you imagine how different dinner will be going out in this car, right? I uh, got some nice tunes that are here. Got my SS steering wheel that's sitting here. And again, this is kind of a cool car in the sense that, that 
all of the right stuff's in the right places, but if you wanted to upgrade the steering wheel to like the stainless version with the black rim, you could do that as well, right? We could also hide an audio system in the, da in the, in the glove box, which we do for many times, and put the stock radio in the dash because people like to make it look stock, but they also want their great tunes. Those are small little upgrades that are a lot of fun to do. That's it. That's all I want to talk about is how great inside here. All of this is nice and new. Seat covers, console, dash, headliner, all these pieces, window cranks, handles. It's why when you look in here, it looks so great because it's just so uh, nicely done. All right, so we're going to close up this video and run down some of the detail things, right? We have a correct coated ermine white car. We have a correct coated red interior bucket, right? Then we also have an RS package and an SS package where we have a four speed, we have a 12 bolt rear differential, we have uh, front and rear spoilers. It goes on and on of why this is a great looking car. That's why I say if you can afford it, you need to get it before it's gone because as we've watched these cars continue to go up in value each and every year, you know what? For a monthly payment that most people can afford, you can have an awful, awful lot of fun in this car. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about it. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel, please. Each time uh, we get some new videos, they'll come out. And if you would, like the bottom of there and share it with your friends. All right? Thanks so much.